try these eight bodyweight fat burners anytime, anywhere today. Man, that bridge walkout so good for the hamstrings and the glutes, keeping the hips fully extended. We walk out in full extension there, pull the toes to the shin, make sure they're not angled out. See that? We want to have them right here locked in with those toes and keep up as we bring it back. Now, how do we make this harder? We can use our basic support progression right here to here to here in order of difficulty. But we can also do this. <sighs> Exhale up, full extension here, full flexion here. Inhale back. <sighs> walk it out, walk it out, walk it out all the way. And then extra hard from that position, keeping those hips up. This is gonna absolutely give you the best glute hamstring workout of your life. But it's also easy on the spine, easy to recover from, and you can do it anytime, anywhere. I must be the greatest! Push up, walk out, baby. What do we got? Let's wake up the core and hip shoulder stabilizers. I can stop here, I can stop here. Ideally, we want to get out to full range of motion with the arms fully extended. Hey, get that big nose down there, Aaron boy, and then walk it all the way back, all right? Now, I can also, that's going to be more stretch hips and hamstrings. If I want to, I can start from a bear crawl position, which is the bear walkout. That's what we're doing today. So more quad engagement also kind of helps get the ankles, knees, and hips, also feet and toes mobilized for squat prep. So, inhale out. Exhale back to bear crawl. Quads will be quaking, but still an amazing abs exercise. Squat to hinge, baby. Full mobility for the lower body can help you with squatting, deadlifting, hip hinging. I recommend having the slant boards like this for round one. This is going to give you a little bit of leverage and support and stability. And we start here, try to get, uh, see that uncle baby wiggle? Uncle baby got that wiggle? Wiggle that out a little bit, okay? We're going to inhale from the nose into the belly going down. And you can see without these, I might kind of round a bit. I can actually use them and, you know, any sort of yoga bricks could work too. I push away with the fingertips. You can see how I get more upright with the trunk. <sighs> Exhale back, wiggle it out. And just keep trying to get lower each rep, all right? Now, the round two option, we elevate the heels, which allows us to get more mobility or range of motion through the knee and the hip. It also helps if you have really poor ankle mobility, it'll allow you to get deeper. So it feeds what we're trying to work. So I get down there, Inhale down, can I sit into it and get tall? And I can even in prayer position, push the knees out, all right? And then set, exhale up. This is also a drill, not only is it built in warm up for this workout, I do it in off days too for those mobility gains. You gotta love the down dog. This is actually the Cobra, but the down dog or yoga push up, right? We get full mobility benefits, warms us up for the push-up. Now, how do we make it harder? One option is to go one leg at a time, which is gonna increase the core stability challenge. Also makes this quad and glute have to work harder to stabilize. You gotta focus on this toe. You gotta drive it down underground. Dig the toes into the earth, okay? I'm gonna shift back, inhale through the nose into the belly. I'm gonna drive that heel up to the sky, try to get full hip extension there and maximize the stretch in the ankle, calf, and hamstring, okay? Coming forward on an exhale, Bring that knee forward, activate those hip flexors. And again, don't get here. Keep the, the upper back rounded. How to make it harder? Watch this. Scat push up. All right. Now, that's tough. So don't worry about the scat push up component. Just do the knee and only. If you have wrist issues, elevate the heel of the hand. If you want to increase the wrist stretch, elevate those fingers. Best way to learn the lunge is from the ground up. Now you add a heels elevated slant board, allows us to get more range of motion through the hip and the knee, and also more low quad stress. This BMO muscle man, if it's not popping, all right, these knees are at risk. All right, so we lock in and now start with the stick to self assist. <sighs> Exhale up, pause for one or two seconds, inhale down. Now how do we progress this? We add a seesaw nature, but again, think about being in a tiny house with a low ceiling, stay low, Step forward, inhale back. You can get rid of the stick. Pause for 
for one or two seconds. Back toe stability. Come right through. Oh no! In that tiny house. Do the best you can. And get ready for some real sizzle. T push up. Where's your core in all three planes of motion? Now, how do you increase the challenge on this exercise? Well, one thing, lock the feet together and squeeze the legs together. Smaller base of support, right? So more challenge from a stability standpoint as I have to kind of roll like this. Now I can also exhale up, lift the leg, work the abductors or lateral hips. Break it down one step at a time. Really want to make this hard. Fight for it, all right? Super hard exercise, do the best you can. Be careful, you might fall back. Maybe do it on a padded mat. But again, start by breaking it down, roll over, flip the leg, reset. Plyo comes down the road. But I do want to show you guys anything's possible with enough consistency, determination, and craziness. A complex is where you take two or more skills and combine them together for metabolic elevation, all right? Here we're taking the skater jump and the shuffle, making them one metabolic massacre, smoking the hips and getting the cardio up in a big way. So we can start with the skater step, right? Where back toe is touching, bends, ankles, knees and hips, get low. Exhale across, inhale to the nose to the belly to recover. Make get harder by picking up the leg. But you'll do a skater jump back and forth. Exhale, shuffle. Inhale to the nose to recover. Now the key to the shuffle, right? Don't let them touch or click or cross. You gotta maintain some separation. So, like that. And here's how it looks combined. This one's gonna heat you up in a real way. Get it. The plank to push up transfer smokes the abs, triceps, and shoulders. But we can do it from a lot of different options. This is the classic option, all right? We can also do it from a bear crawl position, which increases the challenge on the shoulders and the quads. I can also pike up, get a more vertical angle, which is gonna challenge the shoulders in a big way. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna do a sequence of that from push-up position, and then you're gonna do it from bear crawl, go both ways, keeping the hips and shoulders square to the ground, and then you're gonna do it from pike. Why you do this to me, Uncle Baby Biscuits? Because you came to change. Have a great workout. The 28-day post-holiday shred is a now I'm very excited. Go to thedailybj.com today and get ready to make a serious change. I'm talking five to 10 pounds of pure body fat gone, or let's drop the dresser pan size. You got something special you're getting ready for, your motivation is high, let's take advantage of it. Let's get as much accomplished as you can in a month. I'll see you there. Go to thedailybj.com today. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And if you're looking for fast, fun, and effective workouts for busy parents and professionals, get a free trial to thedailybj.com today.